Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to do this crazy infinite zoom effect on After Effects. It's super easy to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what other tutorials you guys would like to see. Before we get into After Effects, I'm just gonna show you guys a quick overview of what we're gonna to do today. Just four easy, simple steps. Number one is a freeze frame. We're gonna find a point in clip number one where we want the transition to start. Step number two is the 3D layers. Basically, this is the main part of the effect. This is where we're gonna give that infinite zoom effect. Number three is keyframing. This is where we're gonna add movement into the effect. And number four, the final step is just touch-ups. Basically, we're gonna go over things that we can do to make the effect look more seamless. Once you have your After Effects opened, make sure you have your two clips. So I have my first clip being the zoom clip. I'm going to be using this clip the idea is to do the infinite zoom through this hard rock logo and then it transitions into the fighters facing off. So the first step will be to create the freeze frame. So I think I want the transition to start here where the camera is tilting up. So I'm going to press command shift D. It's going to duplicate it and cut it where the playhead is positioned. So now you're going to right click, look for time and select freeze frame. And that'll freeze your clip. Basically a screenshot of that frame. Quick break before we move on. This footage and the final edit you're watching were graded using my Black Mamba LUT. It's one of my go-to looks from the Sports Love Pack. If you're feeling the vibe or want to level up your own edits, all my digital packs are linked below. And right now they're buy two get one free. So it's a perfect time to bundle up. Huge shout out to everyone who's been supporting. I wouldn't be able to carve out time for these tutorials without the love you've shown for the packs. I appreciate you always. Go film something you love today. I think I want it to be a little longer just for the sake of the tutorial. So the next step now is to mask out the Hard Rock logo. Click the pen tool and start your mask. Okay, now that your mask is done, you're going to into the mask tab, select subtract, and just increase the feather to your liking. Let's do around 17 might be too much. Let's just try C5, how that looks. Maybe a little bit more. And there you go. Okay, so now that we have this mask out there, we are going to duplicate it. And then for this one, we are going to change the mask to add. I'm just gonna name this zoom clip cover. And for now, we are going to hide that layer. So select this eye icon here to hide it. And just so you remember which one it is, just label it to a different color. For this one, we're just gonna make it orange. And then we're gonna label the other clip too, let's say, let's make it blue. And then duplicate this four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, now we're going to activate 3D layers on all of these clips. So select them all, look for the cube. And then we are going to change from one view to two views. Okay, so now that we have this, we're gonna click C on our keyboard and you're gonna see this icon here. Click and then drag back just to make it smaller. We're going to remove this to the edge here, just about to the right. Okay, now that we have all our layers positioned, we're going to select the first clip at the very top. Click this blue arrow here and drag it back. As you can see, you can see the stack behind. Just make sure you have it centered. And then repeat the same process for the other clips. So again, drag it back. And then just make sure it's in the center. Now, once you have everything set up and stacked, switch this back to one view. Now what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna extend the transition clip up to the very beginning and at the end here as well. And then same thing, Command Shift D. We're gonna select the clip underneath all the stack layers, make it into a 3D layer. And then what we're gonna do, go back to the two views and then make sure you have this layer selected 
and then we're just gonna bring it all the way back and same thing just position it like so all right next step we are going to make a create a new camera make sure it's on top of all of the layers here and also create a new null object and then we're just going to cut it to the length of all the clips okay so once you have your camera and your null created and cut to the duration of the clips you're going to make sure your camera is linked to the null object select the null layer press p on your keyboard it'll bring up the position make a keyframe at the beginning of the layer and go at the end and then now we're going to do the zoom animation through the layers so you're going to select the two zeros here and just drag in make sure that we're just going through the center here just keep dragging in so now you can see it zooms through but we're so far from done it still looks pretty cheesy at the moment but we're going to clean up the transition and make it look more professional we're going to look for that clip cover so we're going to put it back and what we're going to do is press p on our keyboard again and as it gets just before it goes through, I want it to go down. But you see how the hard rock is over that first layer right there. So we're going to put it behind. There we go. I think it goes a little too fast. Still a little too fast. Now a little too slow. A little too slow again. Feels fast right now, but I think once I ease it, it'll look better. Okay, so let's smooth out the keyframes a little bit. So what we're gonna do is select these keyframes, right click, and keyframe assistant, and just easy ease. And what we could do, if you want to take it a step further, select the keyframes and select the graph editor. And then right click, yeah, we already have it on edit speed graph. I think we're going to change it up a little bit. I think I like how it was already. And same thing camera here select the keyframes and just easy ease it and that already feels better again you can edit it in the speed graph if you want to play around see let's have it maybe fast in the middle see how that looks yeah that feels better so now what we're going to fix is the layer this is transition layer here you can see that it has empty spaces so to fill that, we're going to add the CC Reptile Change Repeat to Unfold. I'm going to expand down and expand up. I think that should cover most of it. Still have to extend down a little bit. And there we go. So to take it a step further, we're going to add a drop shadow to the stack layers to add a bit more depth. So I'm just going to isolate one of the layers. Uh, let's do zoom clip two. And then, um, and then add the drop shadow. So let's see, increase the distance. Maybe let's change the direction to just zero. Increase the softness. There we go. And then just select the drop shadow effect, copy it, and paste it onto the other layers. There we go. A very subtle difference, but it does wonders. So select the stack layers and activate motion blur. That looks insane. And if you want to take it a step further, just to make it a bit more seamless as it goes through, I like to add a shake in between that. So what I'll usually do is 
I have the shake sauce effect from Brian Delamara. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna select it all and pre-comp it. So as it gets to the second frame, we're going to add a shake. I usually like Twitch, so let's try Twitch. I think that did a little too much. So maybe we'll just do a simple one. Let's do this quick. I want it to happen, I think, earlier. A little too early. And if you want to, so you just get a bit more of a zoom in at the beginning as well. Select this layer, press S on your keyboard, make a keyframe on scale, bring it at the beginning of the clip. And maybe just do, I'll just do up to 120, select it, ease it, do it at the very end. Nice. And there you go. That is how you do the infinite zoom. Hopefully you guys enjoyed.